Uh, let me start this all over again. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, right now I'm gonna try to enter the Lontano Villa, which I couldn't enter the previous uh, episode or part. Uh, right now I did some leveling up of my characters. They're all level 10 now, as you can see. Uh, other than being level 10, I also farm their jobs a bit. This game lets you go to... Uh, this game can actually let you turn XP off, meaning that you can choose whether or not to gain XP from battles, and I only made it so I got uh, job points. And I farm my jobs a bit. Uh, namely, here we have... Uh, uh, no, Ida is level 3 freelancer. Uh, Ringable is uh, black mage 3. Uh, Agnes is a level 3 white mage. And our Tiz is a level 3 monk. Now... Uh, before I continue, I have to say that uh, I took my DS for a ride previously, and I got some upgrades in my uh, village by adding people. Uh, one new thing that's been added right now is the Nemesis. Uh, hold on, I need to make a new screen region for this, as you won't be able to see it. Okay. Let me quickly ratio of the screen layout. Uh, just give me a moment. I'm gonna fix this. Uh, it should be around 60. So Y position. Uh, nope, still not quite right. Let me go to 55. You can still see a glimpse of that. Um, Uh, yes, you came in time, Tofu Man. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try and show how Belzebub looks like. I mean, most of you know, most probably know about uh, looking at him at the internet. But uh, first, I want to fix the screen region because it went uh, a bit out of control. It is showing the bottom part, which oh, uh, what? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Said 50, not 5. Good. Uh, and now let me take uh, a new screen region of the bottom screen. All of it. Um, it's really small right now, so you won't be able to see a whole lot. But yeah, this ugly fella here. This ugly, ugly face, which I really don't want to enlarge because otherwise my channel may be flagged for uh, gore. Is the... Nemesis. I have no idea why they called him Nemesis. I don't really care why they called him Nemesis, but he is strong. My partner right now can't take him. I really need to go to the next uh, city and get the best equipment from there before I even attempt this uh, big fat guy. For now, I'll be going into the Lontano Villa. Oh fuck! Uh, can I run? Please, can I run? <laughs> Please? Yes! <sighs> Alright, uh, here's how it works. Usually on the touch screen, uh, the button on the left, uh, I mean on the right, is usually the button to close the current menu or, so or stuff like that. I accidentally hit the fight one. Yeah, I messed up. Okay, okay. Uh, before I continue on into the Lontano Villa, I need to explain how specials work, because last time I completely forgot about that. Now, um, as you can see here, there's a bunch of uh, weapons. I think I have them all, yeah, I have all the weapons. Uh, each of the weapons here has their own... Well, special move. Uh, right now, we're looking at Tiz. Tiz is a monk, which means his affinity with the Knuckles is the best. As you can see, the note by the S. Uh, right here we have uh, Moonbeam. is a level 1 uh, special move, unlocked by unlocking a special shop from within the village, and then upgrading that said shop. Now, uh, the thing with special moves is that they're conditional. For example, uh, with Moonbeam, 
you need to inflict critical damage three times to be able to use it. It doesn't really care what is uh, critical as long as it's critical. Um, we have uh, katanas. Uh, in order to use the katana special move, uh, they usually involve default. Level 1 is default 5 times. Uh, the other ones are most probably like default 10 times and default 15 times. Uh, bow is exploit element or family weakness 5 times with physical attacks. The reason why bows have this is because usually bows are good against flying enemies or some bows are even good against beast enemies. Uh, so uh, The bows will be able to easily hit these elemental weaknesses, that's why they gave him this condition. Now, uh, special attacks are only available for the user of the current weapon. So, Tiz, in specific, has to inflict critical damage every time to use his special move. Now, if we go to Agnes, who has a rod, uh, staff, sorry, uh, is re rejuvenation. Now, uh, the difference you'll notice from Tiz's knuckles is this... Where's the mouse? Yep, there's my mouse. This red thing here. The red means that it's an offensive special move. Blue, uh, where's Agnes? Blue means it's a support uh, special move. For example, uh, this one heals all the allies. Uh, I'll talk about this later because I don't have any. Um, let me continue. Oh, we have daggers. Uh, daggers uh, need you to use items five times, which is a bitch, uh, because items are really limited early on in the game, and you won't really be able to exploit this a lot. Uh, next we have rods. Let me go to Ringabo since he's uh, the mage. It's piercing bolt. Uh, for this, you need to use magic ten times. Now, unlike the staffs, which need you to heal ten times, rods can actually activate their uh, special attack even if they're not doing damage as long as they cast a spell. So a black mage can cast cure and still count as one magic use. Well, usually because m black mage will be equipping rods. Uh, we have spears. Spears uh, inflict physical damage on 10 enemies. Yeah, pretty simple. Too bad you cannot hold two spear. Uh, yeah, you can't hold one spear in each of your hands. So this can also be translated into using brave... Uh, and attacking like ten, 10 times in a row. Axes need you to defeat 5 enemies with physical attacks. And uh, yeah, this will stack no matter... Well, well, yeah, you don't have to do them in a row. So for example, uh, let us say that I braved 4 times. I am I kill 1 enemy with a physical attack. So I use an item. I kill 2 more enemies. It will count as 3. They won't really get interrupted by anything else you do. And they will carry on with each battle. So you can uh, keep farming your special attacks and prepare them for bosses. That's what this game is good. Uh, then we have the sword. Swords are pretty simple. Just brave ten times. It's pretty similar to the spear one. In which you need to inflict physical damage on ten enemies. But... Uh, spears are better because uh, the Valkyrie later on gets an attack that can attack all enemies. And it's a physical one. So, yeah, it's more suited for that. Alright, um, right now, since I was farming, uh, difficulty encounter rate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. Now, I accidentally entered the Lontano Villa when I was not streaming and I triggered the uh, dialogue. So you won't be able to uh, see what happened here. What happened is basically everyone pretends they got caught by Idea and they just got let in. Then they found out that they're traitors and we fight and just gain access to this. Uh, what's that? Uh, they the, actually a special option appears out of thin air. Uh, I'll show you when I get to battle. Now this is the Lontano Villa. This place is not really that hard, but the boss in the end here is the knight, which is a pain in the ass because he can block all of your attacks. 
All right. Um, uh, screen region. Oh wait, not this one. Whoa, whoa, not this one. All right. Um, it's a bit hard to see, but you can see here. It's a special. It will appear only and only when you uh, have at least one special attack available to use. So in case of this, I had to critical hit three enemies for him to unlock um, Moonbeam. It's a bit hard to read, but yeah, that's the Moonbeam. Alright. Now, the enemies here are not that hard in comparison to the pigs, but that was mostly because I was uh, under farm. But... Uh, usually... Uh, Tiz and Idea should be able to make a quick work off of these guys. I am not going to waste any mana on Agnes and Ringable. And as you can see, Idea's katana is crazy early game. As you can see from the damage, uh, she will be able to basically one shot any enemy in uh, this dungeon. And uh, let me get into the next battle and I'll show you something else. I'm going to prove you something else of what I just said. Um, now... Oh, we got first strike. Now as you can see here, special is still there. It will not get used up if you don't use it in a battle. That's a good thing about it. So, especially when it comes down to level 3 specials, which I will explain when I actually have them. Um, you just keep farming them over and over. Up un until you have them uh, available for, say, boss battles. And, in particular, this boss battle here, I'm actually going to need these uh, specials. Now, I keep getting one turn victor and unscathed, which means uh, it's going to be some pretty good XP and job points. Alright, an antidote. One thing to note about this place is that I think it has one of those secret treasures, which I cannot open now. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna skip directly to the boss. I'm not gonna uh, bother with uh, exploring the map because there's really nothing uh, of value here. All right, and as usual, Lydia will just one-shot these fools. Man, she's ruthless. I mean, those guys that you just killed, Lydia, are your former colleagues. You were working with them just some moments ago and now you're just murdering them with the katana that your freaking master gave you pretty sure he didn't really expect you to do this the difficulty I'm playing right now is normal um, it's not really noticeable right now but uh, hard is only really there for people who have actually played the first game and are starting the game by carrying over stuff I could try diff uh, hard mode, but that would actually increase the time that I would need to grind. It would make the stream boring. Uh, just much more time spent in the game in general, and I won't be able to provide swift gameplay. So I'm just gonna stick to normal for the time being. Unless I see that I'm just breezing through the game with no problems at all, that's when I'm gonna change to hard, to most probably make the game a bit more interesting for those that are watching it. But otherwise, it's just gonna stay in uh, normal. Alright, Idea, just cut these fools down. I would actually want uh, to give that uh, katana to Tiz, but since he's a monk, he can't really use katanas, unfortunately. Oh, there's another chest here. You get oh, nice, 400 PGs, or gold, or peaks, or whatever this game calls them. Oh. What was this monster called? Panther. Didn't this guy have another name in other Final Fantasies? I remember in Final Fantasy VIII, it was called something else. Uh, even in Final Fantasy XIV, uh, fuck, I forget his name. Mm. Oh well. Oh, next battle I'm gonna show you something else, I guess.